I need you to first of all understand who are your clients? Are mm -hmm. there people that like games? Are they people that prefer anime? Are there people that prefer furries or not safe for work or creepy art? No matter what it is, I need you to have already in your mind a persona, a certain figure that is like, this is the type of people that I want to keep working. And why do you want to keep working? Is your main objective making income? Is your main objective making income and getting happy? Is your main objective getting income, getting happy? but also not working crazy crazy if you want to go for the easy route not say for work now let's go for not so easy but it's still easier than if you choose to draw humans or anime furry now it's going to start to get a little bit harder human all right now it's going <laughs> to get much much harder game art and now let's go to even harder <laughs> And this one I know you're not doing. Anime. This is pretty much to few income to high income. And of course, if you put anime not safe for work, you do a lot of art, a lot of money. But if you put game, but game not safe for work, you would do a lot of money. It's absurd. And of course, there are other niches like creating comics, creating a story like comics or horror stuff. I, do, I truly don't recommend horror, <laughs> but you can yeah. go. There is cartoon. Cartoon? tends to be a very low pay. Um, you mean like making your own cartoon or comics? Or just working for someone to illustrate their comics and their cartoons and stuff like that? Both. Both, okay. Both. The amount of people that already send me DMs saying, hey, do you want to work on my comic? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, the pay is this. And I'm like, what? Do, do you think I can pay right. my water bill with this? Yeah. After you have choose, hey, I want to draw a furry, I want to draw a human, I want to draw anything here. You are going for getting clients. Where you are mm -hmm. going to marketing market that? Cool. Places that I see that today are working for me, getting commissions. Facebook, of course, the groups, but not only groups. Instagram. These are the obvious ones. Twitter. Now let's start going for the not not so obvious. For affinity, Reddit. Reddit works wonders for me, at least. I'll put YouTube, Twitch. These are the main ones. Let's say, oh, they found my Instagram. And then from my Instagram, they get curious. And they go like, mm, I want to commission this artist. And then they see my link in bio. And then they go to my landing page. Landing page is... It's a page for you doing your very best to be seductive and try your very best to show that your work is top high quality and this person will lose their time if not choosing you. First of all, I'm showing the payments, I'm showing testimonials of other clients. I'm showing, hey, there's other people that already bought it. Big clients like this already show like, here, they trust me. Why you not? Huh? And then right. I go to the type of art that I'm offering with a button for the person to select and I also make sure the person is al already knows that hey I offer payment plans since Netflix and Disney Plus and all of those other stuff starting getting monthly payments I start to notice that my clients they are now used to monthly payments so I'm doing all what right. right now I'm doing everything in monthly payments I noticed that the demand was so high for monthly payments than paying all in one I'm just adapting that's what we should do we are just adapting here more testimonials and then why should the person get the art why what she's going to win with that and then how it's going to work not only the full process it you can even win a video on YouTube look how incredible it may be imagine being a client and passing through all of this oh this is the artist it's not a random dude in the internet is not some kind of among us picture it's someone that i can see that has a face wow and the improvement uh -huh. who is the artist it's important to tell more about you get a person to feel that they are in a trustful place uh, sure. uh, did you make it yourself like yes. um do you pay for that website uh, that free. Uh, page free. it's free okay and you can use it it's this tool right here it's pretty much the biggest free email marketing and any started business too that you can have this is the best free for starters if you click uh -huh. here i want to order what happens the person is going to fall down into a farms and it, this is not like a common type of forms. This is a forms that help me get a high conversion. What is a high conversion? 
let's say a hundred people fall into the screen. A hundred mm -hmm. people click it to order. But let's say out of the hundred, only two percent truly went to the end and did the forms, did everything. It means that only two people, easy to understand, only two people were converted mm -hmm. into a full cell. If I got 100 people that opened these farms and only two got to the end, it means that my conversion rate is only 2%. But let's say that I have a high quality farms that people start just making everything. They go like, oh, this is a simple and easy to go. I, I want to commission this art because it's so easy to write the info, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so easy and clean and everything. And if this happens, my rate can go higher. My rate can go to an incredible 10 person. Wow, 10 people want to order commission? From me just because i created a much more clean forms this may look like something oh that's silly no one would do that well this is not my first farms i used to have this other one <laughs> which was so boring to feel and so big and the design is also oh uh, yeah i see i see the difference it's so easy for someone to give up in the middle of this process if it's so big people will give up like two seconds but if it's something very short and looking good and everything wow i didn't even notice good so the whole experience that your client is going to have changes how many commissions you're gonna get anything mm -hmm. you can do to make the experience more disneyland more wow so cool wow do it this is the farm Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for choosing us. Let's start. My name is Gabby. How do you want to be called? This looks much more like a conversation than like, oh, that's a boring forms. And your email address. And it's going to show the name of the person that they did just type it down on the last one. And here there is the options. You can choose price. You can choose how many options up here. Sui, do you have a concept in mind? Is it not safe for work? Yes or no? Which method would you like me to contact you? Can I stream? And then at the end, Tada! People is going to feel happy because this is going to happen. They are going to see the picture of a puppy <laughs> saying thank you. I will be in touch with you within 48 hours. Anything you can send me an email or read my toss. Perfect, simple and easy compared to the other gigantic farms. And there's yeah. the second way, which is the Emmy. I send the link for the landing page and after that I say, Hey, but if you don't feel like checking it, it's fine. I'm going to type down here the type of projects that I do and everything in a much more easy and some way so you can just have all the info. How can I help you? Some people will prefer to go and check. Some people will prefer to just go with the info that you give in the chat. Mm -hmm. Everyone have a different personality and that's about us adapting to that personality. But how is this process of attracting to your social medias? This will look like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. And something absurdly, like, you truly gotta do this. I was sharing online my art every single day. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not saying, no, nah, like every day, no. Nah. Every single day. I would just pick another artwork and post again and write a different text and try some emojis with that. Emojis are absurdly good, by the way. It attracts attention. Imagine those bright colors in your post. Every day, I don't care if it's an art on repeat, I would just pick a very old one that I still enjoy and I think that's good material and upload and upload every single day. I'm not joking, every single day. Whenever I would do this, it would never take more than a week. Like in the worst case scenario, it would take a week for me to get at least two commissions, not one, two. Uh. Talking about Facebook, I would post on my page and on groups. What groups? Anything furry or commissions related. And I would not write just a normal text. Hey, commissions are open. Don't do this. Always do something, call it call to action. What is a call to action? It's a moment that you're writing, that you're going to demand your audience, people that are reading your text, to do something. I'm going to post, hey, I just finished this art commission, lovely results. If you're interested in one like this, comment right now. Look what I said. Comment right now or send me a DM. That comment right now or send me a DM is a call to action. You are calling the viewer to do something. And this may look like, oh, it changes okay. nothing. Oh, it does change. It it shows people that you're open. There's something that I learned in my art journey. I believe 
two years ago that I was like, wow, why there is no commission coming? Did I lost my touch? What was happening? And then one client came to me and asked it, are you open? I was afraid to ask you because you never post that you're open and that and that we should contact oh you. God. And then I was like, oh. oh, and that's when I started to always, always write down, make it absurdly clear that you can send me right now a message to ask for art because people feel so shy to send a DM. They are afraid they are going to make you even angrier because you're already full of art and there's more people demanding. I didn't know clients had this fear. They do have oh this my fear. God. And that's why now, anytime that I'm going to get more commissions, I make it clear as water. Get my commissions, get my commissions. Oh, here, send me a DM, send me a DM. Now, let's say you've got a client. Treat them in the best way always treat them with love because they are the ones keeping you going but if we go to the technical side it will be be patient i already had more than 20 different fixes in one drawing it's worth it because they will keep coming back they will see that you handle their way of being or doing stuff and you're gonna be like ah oh, you're so cool with me and i will say the same because they are cool with me you are cool with me too Again, show emotes, maybe depending on the type of clients that you get, it's different. But I noticed that even with the most serious, serious ones, whenever I go on using emotes, they start to get heartwarming and they go like, Oh, you too, I love you. <laughs> and if you don't want emotes, there's also GIFs. I use both of them. Personally, the results that I see from my clients that they enjoy a lot, maybe with your clients from what you're telling me, they may be different, but the ones that I had feedback, they love it. And forming a long-term relationship. I want you to go to them and say, I've got your back. When you finish working with that person, I want you to already go, already go and offer a discount to them. You choose how much. But show that you're committed into working with this person for the long term. Not getting one artwork, not getting two. You want them to order from you 10 times, 15 times. I have clients that have this amount of orders with me. I am afraid I have clients with even more than this amount of orders with me. For my long term relationship, don't focus only on that one single art. Focus into, wait, if I don't only close this one with this client, if I truly focus on them as a person, what if I get like a piece full of artworks? Like a right. lot of artworks to them. That's more safety for me. That's more safety for them because they trust my work. They're not going to get a bad surprise. Everyone wins. And also, this will happen rarely, but I also need you to make sure that you understand that current clients exist. Mm -hmm. They can take the form of sending to you 10 messages in a day. I'm not joking, this already happened to me. They can take the form of being more than 50 different fixes in the drawing and not paying. There's a difference between having a lot of fixes and then, and then paying and having a lot of fixes and then not paying. And also can be in the form of, oh, I forgot the payment. Six months already passed. Always analyze whenever you are talking with someone. Don't be afraid to talk with them more about their lives. Because I don't see that as a way to learn only about their lives. But as a way that you can also start to judge. Is this a safe web or am I going to fall down in a pit? Not only about the project, but about other stuff. So you can truly see how this client is. It's so important to understand their emotions. Mm. But again, those Karen clients, they are very rare. You can see that sometimes the, the client's not a Karen, they are just anxious. And then you come down that anxiety because they think you may be a fraud. And then you show, oh, I'm not a fraud. Oh, right. See, I have other clients. And they go like, oh, okay, that's fine. There was a time that I do not reply emails on weekends. And there was a client that paid me on a weekend and I didn't reply to them. Guess what the client thought? I'm scamming them. <laughs> I am scamming uh. them. I just received an email. I'm going to enter with legal process against you. Uh, imagine me waking up at a Monday. Oh my like, God. Oh, that's a good day. I'm just going to open my email and huh? legal process. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> and then I just go and send like seven emails and then every other social media that this client had i send a message on every single one and i was like bro bro it was just a weekend it was just a weekend 
And then they comment down and they're like, oh, sorry, it's because I, I was already scammed. And I was like, damn, imagine what this person has been through to act this way. And then I was giving all of the comfort possible in this world. And do you know what happened? This became a lifetime client because they're like, whoa, instead of critiquing me in the moment that I was being hostile, you endure it and you not only endure it, you understood my side and now I can trust you more than any other artist. That's how you form a long term relationship understand their emotions you are talking with real people they want to be understood and since you are here until the end of the video subscribe to get even more quality content to improve your art and leave a like so we can share this with even more artists once you learn with me just go link in the description for my art course that is all in you're awesome champ bye bye